we're going to do now, we're going to be taking them away. So remember just stitch from the top right along to here but don't lock the stitches. Okay so what we've done is we've attached the zip in as the first stage and again I've left the strands here of the thread so that I can take these original stitches out when we've done the second part. So as you can see this zip now is it's, it's starting to form as a concealed zip. So as you can see that's all nice, it's not, uh, it's not pulling anywhere, it's all neat. And when yours is like that, if you've achieved the same thing, what we need to do next is we need to be attaching the conceal zip as close to the coils as we can. So what we need to do now is make sure you put your conceal zip foot onto the sewing machine and I will show you now how to do that. Okay, so what we need to do is make sure you've put your conceal zip foot on to the sewing machine, which, which I've done, and you need to just roll this coil back and just position that into the coil. And just so, because the beauty of this foot is that it turns the coil wet while you're going so it, it's it's an absolutely wonderful foot now for some reason it's blocking it but there we go just make sure that now while while you're going as well you can just just help turn the coil just help turn the coil as, you, as you're stitching, you know, with, with your other foot, just, just pull, as you can see, I'm just, just help ease this, just help ease it through until you come to the very end. Make sure that the zipper is, is opened right to the very, very end. Just keep going until you get to the end. Back tack. like so and just lift this out, clip, clip your threads and on the other side as well and when you've done that you then need to um, attach the other side so we're now reversing the order we're going from the actual coil upwards so again we need to just turn turn this coil best we can just turn the coil and position it into the grooves of the foot like so and then position the foot as far back as it will go now obviously it is going to hit the stopper don't worry about that that's fine just position it as far back as you can go and then just stitch this part again the foot turns the coil lock the stitches at the top and pull out and cut and you then should have your concealed zip stitched in to as close as you can possibly get it to the edge of the stitches here. So when you've attached the conceal zip in just open the zip and just keep opening and closing it a few times to make sure that it's it's you know it's free um, of all stitches and that it hasn't gone over uh, and it's it's getting stopped anywhere at all. So if you're happy with that, then what you do, the um, original stitches where I've left the tails, what you need to do is just undo those and take the zip off for the original, the original stitching. Just undo that, as I'm doing here. Just unpick those stitches back. Now you don't have to 
undo them the, the whole way but just take them back so at least they are further back than where the stitches end for the conceal zip where you've just done lately for the coil okay now where the coil stitches end as you can see are there and I've just unpicked my original stitches back to here now just do that with the uh, other side as well it should just they should just come undone very easily because you didn't unlock the stitches at all so just just unpick those now you don't have to do it this way this is just my technique that I, I prefer um, and I just think it's, it's easier in the long run when you are attaching the last part um, from here to here you see it just it's just I find it easier so just unpick these stitches back like so and make sure that the the, the far enough back uh, like the other side right so when you do that you you can then you, you basically your zip is is loose as you can see it it's loose from the edge now the next part what you need to do is where you stitch to originally I mean you should have a gap like so you, you know you should have a gap so your next part is what you need to do with the zip foot so take your concealed zip foot off and put your standard zipper foot onto the sewing machine and you need to stitch from here uh, to here and join the two stitches the two stitches together so join this gap together so we're stitching right in to here so while you're going really really make sure that your zip is out of the way when I when I position this onto the sewing machine I just fold, hold this part fold this part over make sure this is out of the way uh, and the concealed zip the the normal zipper foot will eventually get into here so we're stitching from this point here along and we're meeting the other stitches here okay so what I've done is I've joined these two stitches up together so as you can see these these are now adjoining together uh, and what that does is it just causes this fluid constant line like so now the idea with a concealed zip is is that you shouldn't be able to see where the zip starts or finishes so if you're happy with that turn over the skirt and we're going to be now opening up this seam so just press this seam open like so so right, right near the zip itself just press this open like so turn this over make sure you've got right in to the uh, make sure you've got right into the zip here and turn this over and press this part open like so so that we have now here a really nice seam and it's you know it will obviously when the person's wearing it it's gonna it's gonna bend the, the zips gonna pe bend uh, into the waist of the person's body um, and the zip it should be where it's just one continuous long line as you can see here so you, you can barely see where the zip starts and finishes now if I open this the zip finishes there you know and you, you can barely see when it's closed where that actually starts and finishes so make sure you've got a real nice continuous line so that's basically it when when you've done that you have attached the concealed zipper um, again if, if you're going to be not using lining 
you should have overlocked there and here. Um, and now we are ready to attach the back panel to, to the front panel.